let's write the chemical name for CuI. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll note that copper, that's a transition metal. So we have a transition metal and then iodine, that's a nonmetal. Metal and a nonmetal, that's going to be an ionic compound. And we'll use these rules here. First, we're going to name the metal. That's the cation, the positive one. That's copper. For the nonmetal, we'll just write the name as it appears on the periodic table. That's iodine, lowercase i. And then we replace that I-N-E here. We replace this with I-D-E. So far, we have copper iodide as the name for CuI. But because copper is a transition metal, we need to write the charge with Roman numerals between these names here. So we don't know the charge on copper, but we do know that iodine is always going to be 1 minus. So we have our 1 minus. Copper has to be 1 plus. So we'll put Roman numerals with the number 1 between the names. So the name for CUI is copper 1 iodide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.